بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے وی ول اسٹارٹ دا ورڈ بائی ورڈ میننگ آف سورہ فاتحہ سو ایز یو نو ڈیٹ مین پرپز آف دس کورس از ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ قرآن اینڈ حدیث ود آؤٹ ٹرانسلیشن سو ٹوڈے وی ول ٹیک دا فسٹ میجر اسٹیپ فار ڈیٹ پرپز اینڈ وی ول اسٹارٹ ود سورہ فاتحہ اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیٹ دا ورڈ بی مین ود دا ورڈ بی مین ود اٹ آلسو مین ان دین دا سیکنڈ ورڈ از اسم اسم مین نیم اسم مین نیم اللہ مین اللہ سو ہیٹ دا ورڈ اسم از مضاف and the word Allah is Muzaf ilayhi so this means name of Allah then the word Rahman mean beneficent the word Rahman mean beneficent but when we add Al to it it becomes the most beneficent so simple adjective mean Rahman which mean beneficent it can be used for humans as well because every good Muslim every good man has this characteristics in it but when we add Al to it it becomes the most beneficent so the word the most beneficent is used only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala similarly Rahim mean merciful which can be used for both uh, for human beings but ar rahim means the most merciful so the word most merciful is used for only allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then we have the word hamd hamd mean okay the first ayah uh, first bismillah rahman rahim means with the name of Allah the most beneficent the most merciful which means starting with the name of Allah who is the most beneficent and he is the most merciful <coughs> then the word is hamd hamd mean praise alhamdu mean all praises whole praises li mean for li also mean belongs to then Allah mean Allah Alhamdulillah all praises belongs to Allah Rab mean Lord Al Ala mean the whole universe Ala mean world and Ala mean mean whole universe everything so again this word Rab is Muzaf and Ala mean is Muzaf ilayhi so you will learn muz- about muzaf and muzaf in the grammar book durusul lughatil arabiya soon inshallah so all praises belongs to allah who is the la- lord of the whole world ar rahman the most beneficent ar rahim the most merciful malik king malik mean king or it also mean honor o w n e r honor yom day ad-deen recompense ad-deen the recompense who is the king of day of recompense the day of judgment the day of interrogation iyyaka only you iyyaka only you na mean we na mean we na budu we worship only you we worship wa and iyaka only you iyaka only you nastain we ask for help we seek help so from only you at only you we worship and only you we ask help we don't ask help from anyone else no matter how great someone is 
so we ask on we worship only him and we also ask help from only him we only make dua only to him we don't make dua to anyone else besides him ihdi is a failure amar which mean guide na mean us ihdina guide us ihdina guide us asirata the path asirata the path which path al mustaqim the straight path ihdina sirat al mustaqim guide us to the straight path so here we have a question what is the straight path the answer of this question is written in this ayah siratal lazina again it is muzaff and muzaffile sirat means path al lazina those siratal lazina path of those an amta you blessed alayhim upon them path of those who upon whom you have showered your blessing or those who are blessed by you ghairi nat al maghdub maghdub mean the one who receives the anger of allah the one who gets the anger of allah alayhim upon them not those who received your wrath who receive your anger walad dalin and not those who are astray dalin mean those who are astray so path of those upon whom you have showered your blessing not those upon whom upon whom you have uh, shall you have showed your wrath and not those who have received your uh, not those who are astray so this is a basically dua now i will tell you how to do his homework so of course first thing that you need is to go to the google classroom so you will click on classes you will open google classroom then you will join the google class let me tell you how to do that so here is the class code you need to copy this code so you note this code then you will go to google classroom in google classroom you will click on this plus icon you will click on join class then you will type here the code then you will click on this join button and then you will be able to join the class after joining the class you will click on class work then you will go to homework number <coughs> 1 in homework number 1 you will click on view assignment so at the moment i have just uh, deleted it my from by the mistake so let me do it again so that you can all see it clearly is there any option of leaving the class 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 okay now i will <coughs> join it again so see so first you will type the class here code then you will join it then you will go to the class work then you will go to the homework number 1 then you will click on view assignment okay again this is remove okay no problem i will tell you how to do it so the first question here is what did you learn from surah fatiha so let me tell you the answer of this question first then i will tell you how to do the word by word meaning so let's see what you have learned here here 
this surah start with bismillah rahman rahim so the main thing that you need to know that whenever you do anything good whenever you do anything good so before doing anything say bismillah before doing anything say bismillah before before doing anything anything say bismillah So in this way, whenever you, <coughs> whenever you are going to start anything, just say Bismillah, Rahman Rahim. So the next thing that you have learned here is about dua. So Surah Fatiha is basically a dua that we are making to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So whenever you are going to make any dua, there are many duas which are written in Quran and Hadith. So whenever you are going to do make any dua, whether it is for this world or whether it is for the next life, praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So again, there are many ways to praise Allah which are written in Quran and Hadith. One of them which is the best one is written here so it starts from here and it finishes until this ayah 5 but if you want you can also add the sixth one but praise and basically here so whenever you are going to make any dua praise Allah before it I think I have done some spelling mistake here. Yes, here we have. I need to fix it. Okay. Then the second point is this. before making dua whether dua is for this life or whether the dua is for the next life praise Allah Almighty so before making dua you need to praise Allah Almighty. So there are many ways to praise Allah which are written in Quran and Hadith. One of them is written here which I have shown to you in this surah. Then the force which is in the dua. So you can make dua whatever you need go to Allah SWT. One more thing that before reading Quran we say Auz Billah so I will write it here as well so we can add it we can make it point number one before reading or reciting reciting Quran say Auzubillah 
so you need to say this so these are the things that you have learnt in this surah so this is the answer of your first question in the homework that you see here what did you learn from surah fatiha so you will say that i have learned this three things in surah fatiha you write them you can write them on your pdf in google classroom directly also you can write it on your notebook wherever you want then the second thing the most important thing which is about the word by word meaning so i will tell you how to do that as well so you will go to homework number one and in the homework number one you will find when you will open the homework number one you will click on assignment and you will f see a file like this one so you will open that file in homework number one i am doing it on homework number three but you will do it on homework number one so in that you will find the ayah written so first you will write the translation of all ayah here then you will write the word by word meaning here so whatever meaning you can just type it here you will first click here then it will allow you to type it for this homework i highly recommend you to use your laptop on laptop it will become easy for you so in this way you will type it and if you don't have laptop then you can of course do it on your mobile on your notebooks or you can print the document as well whatever you want so after writing all the homeworks you will click on this turn in option so once it is turned in you will click on this turn in and then it will be submitted like this okay so this is your homework and you will do it like this if you have any issue any question feel free to ask in the comment section or you can ask me on my whatsapp as well if you have any issue with google classroom i can also guide you with that then the second thing is also the hifaz that we are going to do in this course so for hifaz al quran i have separate class so again you will use this code to join the class so here we go we will go to classes here we click on this plus icon we will click on join class we will time the code here and then we will click on this join button so after joining the class you will go to homework number one so you will click on view assignment here i have uploaded one video youtube video for which will which will help you in memorizing the surah as well if you listen it so so first you will memorize this once you have memorized it completely you will record your audio and then you will use one of these options to upload your audio here so usually audio uh, people submit their audio through this file option but you can do it any way you want so you will upload it here and after uploading it you will you will find the option of turn in here so you will click on the turn in option and it will be submitted so first memorize it then recite it without looking at it without looking at quran and also record your voice and submit it here so that i can check for the mistakes so this is the homework i hope it will be easy i hope one day all of you will understand quran and hadith without any translation so if you have any question you can ask me so see you next time inshallah Mas